What's up guys? I uh, filmed the intro to this out on the water, actually on the sand, but uh, you know me, I'm terrible with cameras and angles and sound and everything else that has to do with electronics. So uh, one, the sun was right behind me, so all you could see were silhouettes. Ding. Definitely, definitely a good uh, choice. I think I might throw this one on first. And two, it was super windy, terrible audio. I thought I'd do it out here. I want to make sure you guys see what's in this box before uh, we get to fishing. So if you're not familiar with Mystery Tackle Box, they are a subscription-based company. They send a box just like this. Well, actually not just like this. This one's pretty beat up because I uh, took it out on the kayak with me. But they'll send you a new box similar to this and uh, you can get new baits every month for a lower fee than what you would pay if you were to buy all the baits individually. And uh, I've worked out a deal with them. I don't get any deal kickback for this, so it's just for you guys. If you guys want to try out this, you can enter the code DIEHARD at checkout, and uh, you get your first box for only $5. And uh, so what I have here is the saltwater inshore box. Um, I've said this in previous videos. Um, I think that the inshore saltwater box is kind of geared towards the east coast or gulf fishing, uh, redfish, trout, stuff like that. But a lot of this stuff is uh, applicable to what we can fish for here on the west coast as well. And uh, we'll have to make a few modifications here and there, and I'll go through that later in the video. But uh, I'll just show you what's inside here first. So starting off, there's a lot of different stuff in here, but they do have a sticker. That's the first thing. And let's see. And this does, you don't get a live dog in the box, but Olaf also likes Mystery Tackle Box. And uh, he's telling you to watch this video as well. So stay tuned. This is what we're looking for. So this is the card you want to pull out when you're first opening your box to see what is in here. So they got all the baits listed out here. I don't know if you can see it there. Give it to focus. Anyway all the baits listed out and the retail price on the side. So as you can see, this box, the baits that were in this box total up to around $40. Uh, and if you use that code DIEHARD at checkout, you can get this for just five. So pretty good deal. And uh, it's nice to try out new stuff when you're out on the water. So let's see here. First off, I'll show you these. These are some Mustad. Looks pretty sharp, pretty sturdy circle hooks. Uh, I think this is the one that we didn't use out on the water, mainly because this is, like it even says on there, perfect for live bait. I didn't want to use any live bait on this trip, so that's why that, these didn't get used. But if I was using live bait, these would be perfect. So that's in there. Uh, and then let's get to the baits. So first off, we got a few jig heads. And I believe these are one sixth ounce right there got a chartreuse head and a pretty good size hook there. A little skinny for uh, what we're trying to do, but if you're catching rockfish or lingcod, smaller lingcod, this won't be a problem. That'll actually be perfect. And the nice thing about skinny hooks, uh, even though I kind of prefer not to use them, the one benefit that you get from using these is if you do get snagged, you can, you're able to actually bend that hook out and you can get your rig back without uh, you know, having to retie everything. So that's good. And at one sixth ounce, it's gonna be perfect for some of the soft plastics that we also have in this box. The next on the list, I'll just show you the jig head itself. We got these white jig heads, a little bit smaller hook, and uh, I think these are a little bit lighter. Yeah, one eighth ounce. So let's see if that can focus in there. Perfect. Just a little white jig head there. The, the hook on here is a little bit smaller, but also a little bit sturdier. So. I think that's gonna be a little more applicable for rockfish and wing cod around here. And uh, okay, so that's those are the jig heads. It's kind of the boring stuff. Uh, Complements the actual meat of this package. So first soft plastic we'll go through. Let's see, where do we wanna start? We'll start with this one. This is kind of a go-to here on the West Coast. Just a little swim bait. This one's made by Lunker City. Uh, it's like purple on the bottom with a little bit of blue and like black flake on top. Show you there. I'll even take one out. This is the exact one I used in in the video. So there's that with the white jig head. Perfect little setup there for some small rockfish and uh, small link cut as well. So perfect little setup out here in the Bay Area. You probably catch halibut on this. 
Um, I feel like even a surf perch might hit this. And yeah, just a really good all around bait. Mimics little bait fish. Z-Man Pop Shads. Show it to you out of the pack. Just the bottom, a little bit of white on the bottom, a little bit of, I guess, watermelon, red flake maybe on top. And one of the nice things about these swim baits is they're super stretchy, super uh, durable. I think on the thing it says, uh, 10 times tough, so you know it's tough. Perfect. And uh, I caught, spoiler, I did catch some fish on this. You'll see later in the video. Uh, and it held up nicely. I can't even really see. This is the exact one I used, and I don't really see any damage to it, so. Okay, keep it moving. So, number three on here, we got some, I guess you can call these trick worms. They're kind of white with a black flake and then a chartreuse tail. I'll show it to you, actually, that might be a little better on the back. See if we can focus. There we go, perfect. Another little uh, worm imitation. I guess you can say this imitates a little bait fish as well. And a perfect little setup for those jig heads that I talked about in the beginning. And uh, nice to have that little chartreuse in the back there. Just kind of add some attractant, get those uh, fish locked into those colors. And the color here says fried chicken. So you know it's gonna work. And then one last bait here. This is a little shrimp imitation, coastal tackle. And I really like this color scheme, the white with the red tail. Uh, that just seems to be a hot color when it comes to uh, lingcod fishing here in the Bay Area. I don't know if it's the red, it imitates like a bleeding bait fish, maybe something that's injured. I don't know what it is, but it just seems like that's that's a hot ticket. In past videos, I've used white swim baits with the, with a the red tail, uh, and those have worked really well. So. Anyway, that's all the baits in the box here. Just wanted to give you a good look here just because the original video that I filmed was terrible and terrible quality. And I wanna make sure you guys see what's in here. So like I said, if you wanna check out, get a box just like this, you can use the code DIEHARD at the at checkout and you'll get your first box for $5. But first things first, let's get straight to the video so you can see firsthand that these actually do work out here in the West Coast. All right, we'll see you guys out on the water. So like I said earlier, these baits are a little bit too light for what we're going to be using them for here on the west coast. Uh, if we're fishing like 5 to 10 feet of water, so we're going to be fishing a little bit deeper than that. So what I got is essentially a little Carolina rig, sliding sinker, I think that's like a 4 or 5 ounce sinker, and then our leader, a 4 foot leader to our bait here. And so we're just going to drag this along the bottom, hopefully bounce it off a couple of rocks. Try not to get snagged. Now this jetty is a highly pressured area, so we can't really expect to catch any monsters out here. But I have seen keeper link cod caught off the jetty. In fact, one of my subscribers, last time I was crabbing out of the jetty, sent me a picture of a link cod he caught. It's right around this area, off, I think off a bucktail. That was, it was a keeper link cod, so they're definitely around. They're few and far between, but it's not out of the question, so. We'll see what happens today. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, there's a bite. There's a fish. Let's see what we got here. Yep, a little olive rockfish. Not a monster by any means, but inside the jetty, this is kind of what you can expect. A bunch of little rockfish like this, and uh, that swim bait did the trick. Perfect little swim bait for these little rockfish in here. Pop that right out. We're actually going to use this for bait for my other video, so this guy's going in the uh, in the live well. All right, this one's down. Now we're going to move on to another one. Let's see. So this is done. This is done. What am I gonna do now? Let's try this. I'm kinda interested to try this Z-Man, see if it's really all that it's hyped up to be. So these are supposed to be some like space age industrial strength um, rubber or whatever they call this. So I'm gonna throw this on this sixth ounce jig head with the chartreuse head. The reason I'm choosing this one is this hook is a little bit bigger than that than the, uh, 
previous one I was using. So since this bait's a little bit thicker, the profile's a little bit bigger, my thinking is that this one will work a little bit better. So I'm gonna jig, or I'm gonna rig this guy up. I always like the hook to be coming out the top, so that's what I'm gonna do on this one as well. I want it to go right down the center there. Just like that. That looks pretty good. I think a fish is gonna eat that. We're just gonna rig this on that same rig we were using the last one on. Just like that. Bounce it off near the bottom. And hopefully the fish is down there and hungry. Oh, there's a good one. That's a good fish. Definitely a little bit heavier than the last one. That was pretty fast. I only started trolling this about five minutes. Second species of the day on the second bait. Oh, it's barely hooked. This might come off. Barely hooked. Let's see if we can get this guy in here. All right. There we go. So. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Bay Area fish species, this is like kind of the apex predator of, of the rockfish. Look at how we barely hooked him there just by the skin of his lip. Yeah, I guess this bait lived up to its name. Doesn't look like there's any damage. I, I'd like to put it to the test to try and catch like five or six lingcod on it, see if it really holds up. But hey, so far it's good. But there you go, there's a little rock or a little lingcod. These guys are the, like I said earlier, these are the apex predators. They got the big teeth. These guys will eat. This fish would probably eat that first fish that I uh, caught. Even though it's not that much bigger. This is still a wee little baby. But these guys, their their eyes are bigger than their stomach, I guess you'd say. He would just go right after that rockfish. So 22 inches in order to keep here in the Bay Area. This one definitely too small, so back he'll go. Right back to the bottom. Try to avoid this boat here. That didn't take long at all. Probably about five minutes on the troll right after him. So I'm tempted to leave this on, but I kind of want to go through all the baits here just to uh, make sure they all work. So really we got four, technically four baits done the jig head and the uh, swim bait for each of these so that's done that's done really we only have two left this shrimp tail and then this other the z-man whatever this is trick worm i guess you could call it the shark fish tail uh, let's do this shrimp tail first and you know what plastic on this one is seems really firm should stay on the hook pretty well and uh, like I said earlier I really like this color scheme the white this might be glow I'm not sure but anyway with the red tail that little bit of red seems to be a favorite of the lingcod around here so I'm just gonna toss that on like so same deal Alright, so we can go three for three. So all I've been doing with these baits, all three, the same thing. Just kind of slow trolling, moving the kayak along this jetty here. We're kind of going perpendicular, but once I get into the, into the happy zone, probably about 20 feet off, then I'll just go parallel to the jetty along like this. And uh, I want this, I want this swim bait or the baits that we're using to be as close to the bottom as we can be without dragging on the bottom. So I just kind of bounce it. Once I feel the bottom, crank up a little bit, and then the, the name of the game is keeping that same that same uh, speed. Because if you go a little bit slower, your bait's going to sink down a little bit more. You get caught in the rocks. If you speed up a little bit, your bait's going to go a little bit higher. You won't be as close to the rocks. So. 
All right, guys, first casualty of the day. I trolled around that shrimp for a little while, probably about half an hour, and it just didn't seem to be working. So rather than put on again, I'm gonna try something new. I re-rigged up here, same rig, but I'm gonna try this last bait in the box here. And oh, we're gonna put it on the same jig head. The shark truce, I think it's six ounce, with a little bit bigger hook. So I said earlier, I, I definitely like the paddle tails better, but I'm willing to give this a shot. That's kind of what this box or this this whole system is all about. It's about trying new stuff that you wouldn't normally buy, but you get it at a discount, and you never know. You might find that secret bait that nobody knows about, nobody's tried. Kind of came and it just arrived at your doorstep. Hopefully, this works a little bit better than the last one. Shark truce head and shark truce tail. Maybe that'll uh, get these rockfish on the chew. Just like that. We're gonna jig it along the bottom. Probably bounce it up, up and down a little bit more than we were with the other ones. Try and give it a little more action and uh, try and get out of the way of this boat. There we go. Just turning the kayak around, just hit the edge of the jetty, and what do you know, right on the turn we got hit. Let's see what we got here. Oh, another little rockfish, another species. Third species of the day. Oh, come back here. This is a blue rockfish, I believe. Maybe a black. Uh, I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. It's either a blue or a black rockfish. Third species, here in California, we've got uh, probably a hundred different species of rockfish. And hey, that was pretty good. That worked better than I thought it was gonna. Oh, there he goes, right back into the water. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap it up on that fish. Make sure you check out Mystery Tackle Box if you're interested. The box that I was using today was an inshore saltwater box. They have all kinds of different boxes. They have pan fish boxes, bass boxes, trout boxes, all kinds of different stuff, uh, depending on what you're interested in. So check them out. If you want to sign up, make sure you use the code DIEHARD at checkout so you can get your first box for only five bucks. For all the baits that I use in this video, I'll leave a link in the description below. Make sure you check that out. Uh, other than that, if you like this kind of video, make sure you leave a like. I can do more like this. I like doing. I always like trying different new, different baits that I uh, wouldn't have normally tried. So that's always fun. So if you liked it, make sure you leave a like, and I can do more of just like this. Other than that, I gotta go finish up part two of the last of the last video. Basically, time traveling. So uh, yep. Yeah, other than that, we'll catch you guys next time.